So the next one I will explain. Control flow in try catch finally. So inside try catch finally, if an exception rises, how we can handle? It? If there is no exception, how the control is going to be there? Now control flow keeps happening. Control flow in in try catch finally. Control flow in try catch finally control flow in try catch finally we have to discuss just observe try within the try statement 1 statement 2 statement 3 within the try block three statements are there catch block statement 4 finally statement of 5 and then statement of 6 ok so first of take this part Now, from 1 to 6, anywhere an exception rises, we should be in a position to understand in what way the flow is going to be there. Okay? Case 1. Can you tell if there is no exception, in which order the statements are going to execute? 1, 2, 3. Catch block won't be executed because there is no exception, right? 5, 6. Now, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. Is it normal termination or abnormal termination? Normal termination, right? Because there is no exception. Normal termination. Next up, case 2. Yes. Can you tell what is the flow now? 1. If an exception rises here, so immediately corresponding catch block matched. 1, 1, and from here the problem catch block 4. 1, 4, 5, 6. Normal termination or abnormal termination? Normal termination. Next up. Case 3. Can you tell what is the flow now? 1. Here the problem came. But the corresponding catch block not matched. Abnormal termination. But before abnormal termination, finally block will be executed. So because finally compulsory, even in the case of abnormal termination also, finally block will be executed. So can you tell what is the flow now? 1. Here is the problem. But the catch not matched. Abnormal termination. But before abnormal termination, finally, 1, 5, abnormal termination. Only finally will execute. The remaining things won't be executed, right? Okay? Add. Next step. Case 4. Can you tell, is it normal termination or abnormal termination? If an exception rises at statement 4, normal or abnormal? Huh? Abnormal, because it is not part of any try. If it is not part of any try, there is no catch block, it is always abnormal. But before abnormal termination, 
finally block will be executed correct or not because so here the problem that's why control coming to catch block but while executing catch block an exception right there abnormal but before abnormal termination compulsory finally block will be executed add next case what the case number case 5 just like that if an exception raised at a statement 5 is it normal or abnormal termination abnormal termination because it is not part of try there is no catch block abnormal if an exception raised at a statement 6 normal or abnormal abnormal because it is not part of try there is no catch block that's why If an exception raised at a statement five or statement six, it is always abnormal termination. That's all. Are you getting? So from one to six, if anywhere an exception raised, compulsory we should be in a position to understand how the flow will be. so whether the control will come to catch block or finally or otherwise statement 6 like we should have clear clarity okay are you getting right okay that's all